I believe really strongly that the first thing any good public relations, public affairs professional has to do is know what the truth is before they start shaping their message. Before you frame something, find out the facts, make sure you know it inside and out, and then and only then should you begin determining what's the most effective way to communicate it outside. I do think it's a real issue and I think it's a real challenge uh, for corporate communicators and for communications folks to deal with the speed uh, and sometimes the inaccuracy and the falsehood that might be being propagated across a digital channel or across the news. Um, I, I think the counter to that is good and solid relationships with your key stakeholders. So if you've got good government relationships in the markets that you work in, if you've got good media relationships with uh, people who cover you around the world, if you've got good relationships with community leaders and your employees around uh, the world and in these different markets, those relationships are critical to getting through what could be falsehoods. If they trust your fundamental word and your fundamental um, version of the truth and what you know to be the truth, if you've got those relationships, it's still a relationship business at the end of the day. Uh, and I still think that that's the counter to some of the things that we're seeing. We've been talking as an industry about transparency for maybe 10 years or more and the idea of radical transparency, but basically don't try to be cute, no trickiness. If you start to feel like you're spinning an issue, they used to say people in PR are great spin doctors, I believe we illuminate the truth. So the truth better be good. You better be proud of the truth. And that's where data and privacy will continue to be an incredibly relevant topic and the tricky part about it is that a lot of the technology is evolving as very very quickly as then we have to take a pause and step back and think about well, what does this mean and as we're launching this new software capability or whatever it is what are the implications of that I kind of think about it in relation to the first generation that grew up with a mobile phone with the ability to be on social media. And we know that generation, the parents of that generation didn't know how to set guidelines. The schools were not having trainings on, remember, if you take a picture and it gets published, it'll live on forever. So as things are brand new, they're naturally, uh, the way they're handled is naturally imperfect because there's not a lot of maturity there. So I don't think, broadly, I don't think organizations set out, most organizations set out to be evil and manipulative but we're not all that smart or sophisticated yet on a topic like privacy. I definitely look to Europe to see what they're doing. I think Germany just passed a law that in social media, if a platform publishes something that is legitimately fake news, that they can be held accountable for that in the law um, legally, so, which I think is interesting. So Europe tends to move a little more quickly on topics like that, so always have an eye to them.